Welcome to the All Night System. I'm Sean Patrick Ryan. In this tutorial, we'll go over the tools you need to successfully video scout. Not everyone has access to Instat or some of these paid services. So if you're new to this or you want to learn, then this video is for you. So step one is downloading some type of screen capturing software. This is OBS Studio, although it's probably not the latest version. Um, it is very user friendly. I highly recommend it. There's lots of uh, great settings in here. It's, you can customize it however you like. This is what it looks like on the desktop right here, OBS Studio. And yeah, it's, it captures the entire screen. Uh, although you can edit it where it'll just cut certain or capture certain parts of the screen. But in this case, we'll just assume we're going to do the whole screen. Um, here you've got um, options where you can name the scene. For this tutorial, I've just called it the All Night System. If you click on here, you've got some properties. For this tutorial, I've enabled the, uh, the capture cursor option. So you'll see I can move the cursor around just make, so it makes it easier. I can kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about. Normally, if you're doing hockey highlights, for example, you're recording, you normally don't want to have a cursor in the middle of the screen the entire time. It's extremely annoying and a bit of a rookie move, to be honest. So something to, re to, uh, to remember, just uncheck this if you don't want that on there, but we'll leave it on here for now. Uh, also, there's an audio mixer. So if you're, um, if you're recording video and it's very poor audio, you can actually amplify that with this mixer, which is extremely handy. Uh, if you don't have real good speakers or you're just using a laptop speaker, sometimes it's just not very loud. But using this, it will actually amplify it. So that's that's good to have. And then here, there's other settings you can click on. Uh, normally, when you want to record, you just click on Start Recording right here. Uh, because I'm recording this video, it actually gives me the option to stop. But normally, you just click on Start Recording, and, and that'll do it. So I'm just going to kind of show you exactly how that, that works. Um, one thing I should mention, you have the option obviously to, I mean, when you're recording, sometimes you want to record an entire game. Sometimes you want to just do highlights. You just want to capture those so you can repost them. So I'm going to show you a couple different things. Um, one thing I recommend is if you're recording an entire game, then normally stop after each period. There's no point in recording the, the 15 minute intermissions. Uh, plus, it's easier to edit your files if it's not one large file. If you can break it up into periods, then you've got three separate files you can go through. And uh, especially if you want to edit, you could do one period one night, another another night. Just something I, I kind of found was uh, is handy. And I'll show you exactly how to to use this. So what we'll do is we'll bring up a video. Um, I've got, let me see, so under videos here, recorded something from today for the QMGHL, just a highlight of uh, Mannix Landry. So I'll show you that. So let's assume, let's assume we click on start recording. And then this. On récupère, on vient marquer. Sorry, that was loud. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward it because that's what. Okay, so here we go. So it literally captures the entire screen. So let's just pretend we clicked on the video and we click start recording and here you go. It, as you can see, it literally records the entire screen. Now, if you move your mouse around, it's going to see it. If you alt tab or bring something else up, it's going to see it. So you just got to be careful with that. So if you want to just record a game, just let it go. And then stop it after the period or stop it after the game. In this case, I'm just doing a clip. And he scores. Okay, I got it. So then that's all I wanted. So now you would just come back to here and click stop recording. And now you've saved that video. Now it'll be saved to a predetermined destination on your computer. You'll know what that is once you get going with this. Uh, mine, for example, it saves on videos. So I recorded that highlight, and if I wanted to play it back, technically I would just click on here, but we'll do it on here. Now here's the video that I just recorded. It's come up on there. Alors voilà la confirmation du but. 
and then of course he scores, right? So as you can see, it records the entire screen. So it's extremely handy. Um, if you're not really familiar with, with screen capturing software, again, this is the easiest to use. I definitely recommend this. Again, it's up to you if you want to break it down into pieces or whatever. You have the option to, to start and stop. You can do that as many times as you want. So if you don't really care about the game, you just care about highlights, you can start watching the game. As soon as somebody scores, uh, you can click on stop and then go back and edit your video. And then as soon as you're done or you cut it, you can just click on start again or start recording again and just kind of go from there. So it's fantastic software, easiest to use, OBS Studio. Now the question is, how do you edit that video? So now that you've got your video recorded, the question is, how do you edit that video or how do you edit that highlight? So there's all kinds of different options for that. The first thing I would recommend, especially if you're new to this or you want something basic, is check your computer first. So on mine here, I've got uh, Windows Video Editor, which I find to be extremely useful. Um, I'll click on it here and I'll show you. Now, you know, this is a laptop I'm on. Most computers do come with some type of video video editing software already. Um, this one comes up, I guess, under Photos, technically. It is a Windows, uh, Windows laptop. You may have something similar. It may look a little bit different than this, but this is the general idea. So I'll kind of show you how this works. So I've got all kinds of different videos here already saved. But you just click on New Video Project, and here you... Here you go. We'll call this Landry. Oops. Okay, so we recorded the Landry highlight previously. So if you wanted to edit it, for example, you can bring it up here, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we've got Landry here. So I brought up, you just click on Add, Pick the video you want and you can add more if you like like you can do as many as you want it comes up this is your storyboard here click on place i guess that's a library technically this is the storyboard so you click on that and you have all these different options here to just trim it or adjust it again it isn't overly complex there's not a lot of different features you can do here you can change the speed you can add a few different effects you can mute it you can trim it you can add some text and maybe add some to some um, audio to it, but that's about it. Uh, but if you're just doing like a simple highlight reel or uh, you know a, a short video, then this is this is definitely the software you want to get used to at least initially. And then once you're comfortable with it, you can graduate on to something more. But I'll just kind of show you how this works. So here's the video that we recorded earlier. Let's just say it's 34 seconds long. Let's just say we want to clip it. Let's just say we want to clip it down to 30 seconds. We only have 30 seconds left. You can click on trim and here's your video. You can drag it over here and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it right about there. And, and again, you can kind of just move everything around and say I don't want to show the replay. I just want to get it under a certain time frame. Okay, we get it right before that QMJHL thing comes up. So right about there. Okay, 23 seconds long. Go ahead, play it again just to make sure. Alors voilà la confirmation du but. And there you go. There's the clip. Boom. Done. Okay, so now that 34 second clip is now 20 seconds, right? And again, you can add as many as you want. You can add photos, you can add pictures. That's a quick way to edit that video. I'll just show you, we'll do, uh, for example, on desktop. I'll just add a photo, of course, yoonlight.ca, yoonlight prospect network, we'll add that. Put that in there, open, it comes up, place in storyboard, you can move it around. Click on there if you want to do the length, the duration, you can click on here. Let's change that to seven seconds. All right, there's an option there. So now we've got a seven second intro and we've got a 20 second clip. And let's say because Landry scored, we want to do text. 
So you can go ahead and click on text here and we'll just put goal and you'll see it'll populate down here. You can do how long you want the goal to be. You can do where you want in the video the goal to show up. You've got different options here to change it. Just the style of it, how it looks. I like using this for introducing players or putting their names on it. But let's just say we'll go something simple like that. Done. All right, and then we play it. Get your seven seconds. Usually I add effects. There's 3D effects in here in motion, but we won't, we won't do that right now. And see, now it says goal on your video. And it's 20 seconds long as opposed to 34. And you notice it'll cut out there. And there we go. So if that's all I wanted to do, you can just go ahead and if you're happy with it, just click on finish video. It'll save it to wherever you want. Export. And again, I've exported videos, which I have here as a different folder for that. And then just save it, export it, and it'll go ahead and do it. And now you've got that clip. And again, if you want to go add more, add more, let's say more highlights to it, you can go in here again and just, again, it's up to you. You can add as many as you want. But this gives you the option to edit any clip you want and piece them together. And if you want to make a movie out of it or extended highlight reel, then that's totally up to you. You can even download the same clip again and add a second piece to it. Let's just assume this is a second one. You can see now it tells you how long it is. It's a minute and one second long. You can move these around. Like I said, you do the text. You can add title cards, which is just uh, basically just text. You can change the colors of it. You've got motion. You've got 3D effects. You've also got speed if you want to slow your, your clip down a little bit. Say so for that, for example. Although you have to, you notice it's longer now that you're you're going slow motion. And now the audio is also slowed down, so unless you want to mute it like that, now you can see it's you see it in slow motion, but you don't hear the, the weird voices. So there's a, f a few different options. Again, this isn't overly complicated. It's kind of a basic software, but it's a great introduction on how to edit your clips. So that's step two, the video editing portion. Now step three is using the advanced software. So step three is download DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is free software. Uh, I have currently, I believe it's version 16. There is a 17 that I believe you can download as well online for free. This is what it looks like when you click on it. Uh, basically you can do everything you could in the video editor times a thousand. There's so many other options in here. And again, it, it can be a little overwhelming at first, but the all the default settings are are good. Uh, same as OBS Studio too, by the way. Everything we had there before, usually the defaults are good. You don't have to change much unless you want to amp amplify the sound or or adjust, uh, just tweak things a little bit. So same idea here with the DaVinci Resolve. Once you get good with the video editor, you want to do a, a few extra things and you can do it here. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you a couple things. One of the things I like to do is highlight a player in a video clip with a red circle. So the person viewing knows exactly where to focus or who to focus on as opposed to just searching. And by the time they search with their eyes, the puck's already in the net. So I do like to do that. Um, now I'll show you how to just freeze frame it and highlight that just for a second. I do feel like it's uh, it can be distracting if you have a red circle tracking the entire video. Once you just highlight the player, they know who to look or where to look, then that's good enough. Um, so that's one great feature on here that you can that you can do, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And another thing that I really like, and I think is kind of underrated, is you can actually grab stills. So you can pause your video and, and basically take a picture of it, and then either upload that to a blog or you know post it on Twitter, or whatever. And, and that's kind of handy because it's you know, especially if you're a blogger like myself, it's nice to have original photos. You're not stealing from somebody else or you know, worried about copyright or anything like that. You're literally just pausing your own video and just in taking a snapshot of it. So I'll show you how to use these two things. Once you get comfortable with it, you'll probably end up replacing Video Editor with DaVinci Resolve. 
Um, but let's uh, let's take advantage of some of these features here and show you exactly how to use them. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is highlight a player so it makes it easier for the person watching the video to track them. So what you want to do is you want to go to File up here and Import File. And again, we're just going to use our Landry Highlight as the example. So we have, let me go back and find it. Here it is here. And just click on change it just talks about frame rate just keep it the same here all right so it loads it up here in your master library i guess and here is all the different tracks so once you get real good at it you'll notice you can have you can have videos running simultaneously you can have an audio track going with a video track and adjust it you can have pictures that kind of just pop up periodically in your timeline um, there's so many advanced features in here. It's just, it's amazing. But again, we're just going to keep it simple. We're just going to do a couple of things just to show you what this software is capable of. So here's the video that we recorded earlier of Landry scoring the goal. So we've got it here. And again, as I showed you, you can kind of move it back and forth like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight Landry so it's easier to track him in the video. So you can click up here, first of all, play, and decide where you want to do it. Okay, so I think we're going to go right about, let's see, so right about here. That's where we're going to pause it. So this is Landry here. So we want to just highlight it for the viewers so they know exactly where to focus. Um, so one of the things you need is a red circle. Now you can just go on Google, type in red circle, download it, it'll save, save it to your desktop. I've gone ahead and done that. Here it is here, red circle. So again, you just do file, import the red circle, which it downloaded. And I use this quite often when I have time anyways to make videos with these effects on it. So now the red circle's there. So we're gonna go ahead and drag it, bring it down here. Like I said, you've got different tracks. Here's track one, track two. It can be audio, it can be video, whatever. That's something you don't have in the video editor. It doesn't give you that option. So here's the circle. So now um, what we're going to do, actually, hang on a second. Let me just cut this out for a second. We'll simplify it. We've got the track. We know where we want to cut it. So if you click on here, this is your option to edit. You can edit your video. And again, you can kind of scroll it back and forth. We've already decided where we're going to Highlight it. So we're going to do it about here. You've got an option to use the blade, blade mode, and cut your video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to freeze frame it so it's easier for the viewer. So you just click on there once to cut it. Just push the right arrow once and then cut it again. And there you go. Now you've cut your video. So then go ahead and click on the arrow here so you can drag it away. And if I were to play it now, it would just be black in the middle of my video. So you can move that over. And now you're just going to drag this part here all the way to your timeline. There. Now you filled it in so there's no gaps, there's no black. So move it back to here. Now right click on this. And it doesn't matter which one of these you do. Change clip speed. Freeze frame. Change. Okay. So now I'm going to scroll back here first. So just have a look here for a second. You're going to see it freeze frame. There, it paused. Okay, so that's the first step if we want to do the, uh, the circle. So now you can move it back here again. So we'll go back to where we were before, the timeline. And I'm going to bring that circle back down. Now you can see where I cut the video. You can see it right here. Cut it here and cut it here. So all you're doing is just taking that circle and you're just putting it, just lining it up with the frame that you cut. And we're just going to highlight them during that freeze frame portion. We're not going to do, again, you do have the option where you could, um, you could track the player the entire video. It's a lot more complicated. Um, I've done it before and it's, uh, again, I, I end up finding it annoying. Uh, once you highlight the player on the clip once, for a split second, people know where to look. They don't need to keep having it highlighted the whole time. But again, it's up to you. Um, okay, so we've got it on there now. 
So now you know it's just the circle. It's just a circle, and it's not highlighting anybody. It's just a circle. But this is the freeze frame. So if I just play it now, you'll see it just. It's just a circle. So what we want to do is we just want to make sure we get it exactly on our guy Landry. So again, you can go back to edit. And here you've got uh, an X and Y axes. Basically, you can move it around. So right now it's got my my video highlighted, but I want to highlight the circle. So now that I've highlighted the circle, you can zoom in or zoom out. So basically just make it how big you want. We'll make it about there. And then as you can see, you can move it left or right. And so you just kind of move it over here. And then we'll get it down. Whoops. That's big enough. Okay, that looks about right. That's Landry there. And that's at the beginning of our clip that we cut. And let me just roll it back. And so just watch up here and we'll play it. There we go. So now it highlighted Landry and we know who to focus on. And then the rest of the video runs. And as we know, boom, he scores. You can hit back there. So that kind of shows you just how to how to track a player uh, in your highlight videos. Again, it's a lot of people I've, I've talked to, I guess they seem to like it that way. It makes it easier, especially beginners, right? People trying to locate it. Or if you, have a, if you have poor quality in the video as well, that's another great way to just highlight them, make it easier to, uh, to track them for scouting purposes. So that's how to do that. And then the second feature I'll show you is where you can take pictures of the actual player. So to do that, you're going to want to come down here to color. And you'll see on the left here, it'll say no stills created. So you want to capture a still, which just means basically a freeze frame. You're just taking a, a snapshot of it while the video is paused. So I'm going to show you how to do it first, and I'll tell you why it's, why it's kind of cool. All right, that's not a good one. Let's find something good. Okay, let's just say, this is probably not a great example. Let's just say we want to, okay, let's just say we want to take a freeze frame of this guy here. So we'll go ahead, grab still. Boom. And there you go, it brings it up here. And then you click on right click and export. And you can call it whatever you want. We'll just, I don't know, call it D-Man. Change it to a JPEG. Boom. Save, and it's saved to my desktop JPEG. As you can see right here. Tell about the quality. Yeah, it's pretty good quality. This comes up in photos. It looks like video editor. Same idea. If you wanted to crop it, click on crop. If you wanted to, technically, you could make a photo like that. And there you go. There's a nice new photo. And just kind of save. So that's 16-year-old uh, Noah Warren, it looks like. Number five of Gatineau. Uh, so if I were doing a profile on him, for example, I'd have a picture of him. Original picture that I took myself, and I could just add it on there. So it's useful in that way if, again, if you're a blogger like myself, you have original photos you can add. Um, I also, uh, one of the re rewarding things of, of doing what we do, scouting and that on social media, is... Um, you know, there's a lot of parents and billets who follow us and, and DM me all the time. And, and you know, if you do show clips of them or, or, or photos, quite often they'll, uh, they'll thank you for it. And even sometimes the players themselves will see photos of themselves and, and grab them. A good example is, uh, actually I'll bring it up here, I'll show you, Alec Regula, who played for the London Knights. Um, and here's another actual cool thing. I don't know if you're, if you're aware of it or not, but you can Google in Twitter Advanced Search. I guess we can tie this into the videos too of the editing. And it brings it up here. You can type in anything you want. I'm going to put in Regula for a second. And I'll put at the oil night down here. Okay, click on photos. All right, so I was going through a game, watching the nights, and uh, the camera zoomed in on Regula here. This was uh, the night when hockey fights cancer, and obviously he's the captain of the nights, or he was. 
So I just took a steal of that snapshot, boom, threw it up on Twitter and just said, hey, beautiful jerseys up for auction. And pictured here is Captain Alec Regula. Well, I guess he must have saw it because he, um, if I do people, Alec Regula, if we go to his profile, it would help if I could type. Here is Alec Regula. There's his profile picture, right? So that's kind of cool. Uh, again, it's not uh, it's not super useful. It's just something I like to enjoy, or I I enjoy doing um, from time to time. And again, if you if you're a blogger like myself, it, it comes in handy having original photos. So that's uh, that's great. And then of course with the uh, with the Twitter advanced search, as I mentioned, I'll show you again here real quick. If you're trying to access an old say an old clip of somebody that you, you had before and you want to add it together, let's say in the video editor, or if you want to just add it in your DaVinci Resolve, you can go ahead and just type it in here. I'll just do Maximoff, for example. I remember a clip from Maximoff or a tweet I had, and I want to go back and find it. Just type in Mule Knight, Maximoff, search, videos, and then here you go. Here's all kinds of videos. Maximoff, right? So say this is the video I wanted. There it is there, right? So you could download download that again or refer back to it. It's already saved in my computer. Yeah, so there's another option there. Just a little sidebar, the Twitter advanced search. That's a really cool tool. Uh, but yeah, going back to here, the DaVinci Resolve. Again, there's, those are a couple of different options you have with those. The, um, the freeze frame, the circle and the player highlighting them, grabbing the still. There's a ton of other options in here as well. You can go on YouTube yourself and just research them. But I highly recommend it. Once you get used to it, it's amazing all the different features you have here uh, at your disposal. So that kind of sums it up. Those are the three main steps on how to capture a video, how to edit it, and then how to add some cool features to it as well. So I hope that helped out a little bit. My name is Sean Patrick Ryan. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter at The Oil Knight. Bye for now, and we'll catch you in the next video.